and welcome once again fans of flip clocks today we're going to go over to etsy.com and take a look at some interesting flip clock things first i'm going to go to ebay and talk about some of the mechanisms you can find on ebay that people have actually taken and repurposed so here's a vintage flip clock mechanism it says it's from a ge and I do recall this. So we recently did a video on a restoration of a GE flip clock, and that's actually the mechanism there. This is a mechanism I got off, and they said it was new off of eBay, and uh, several of us from flip clock fans got that when it was on there. I haven't decided what to do with mine yet. This here says steampunk. So you don't, you can't really describe steampunk, but when you see it, you know it. I mean, and here you go. I'm looking at that, and I don't know if that's from a nightmare that I recall. And then I remembered it's, it reminds me of something from Lost in Space. It reminds me of the robot. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Memories, huh? Well, I don't think I won it, but it's pretty amazing. And now here's another one along those lines, and I'm kind of speechless. Um, I'd say probably don't get it out in the sunlight. It's it's pretty creative, though. Now this one, maybe not so much. It looks like a couple pieces of wood nailed together like a L there. It looks familiar. And yeah, at the beginning here, we had actually displayed a mechanism just like that. They've just got an electrical connector just kind of sticking in the back there. Yeah, $175, maybe not. Here's one. I don't... It, I can't remember ever seeing one like this. It's it's pretty cool. It almost looks like somebody's modified it, but it's just a side side issue here. Now, anyway, here's something my wife does not want. Uh, so, and and now this guy here, he you can always count on this fellow here on Etsy, Starlight Amusements, to make some crazy stuff, man. He's always got something. Yeah, mothers, hide your daughters. There's a new flip clock in town. Amazing. Okay, this one's pretty simple, understated, not bad looking, for 120 bucks. Now here we go. This this reminds me of a mechanism I saw on a Seth Thomas. I haven't Googled it to see for sure if that's where it came from, but this looks uh, pretty classy. And here's another one. That's classy. I like the way it's clear on the front and the back. And it says it's made from a skateboard. Yeah, the guy's actually taking it out to a skate park. And here's one that looks like it would go really good in a, maybe a, a log cabin. I like this one. Very nice. And uh, it looks like something a teen might like. It says... Big time display. And now I'm noticing that these clocks, uh, they have a lot in common. And the main thing they have in common is from the same fella, the same uh, seller here on uh, Etsy. And if you don't know about Etsy, Etsy's not, uh, it's, it's not an auction. It's, it's just where people sell their wares, mostly uh, vintage things. And so McVeigh Art, you can see, it's mostly clocks we had been looking at. And evidently he's highly rated here. Let me go through and read this, and he's one of us. He's talking about Back to the Future, Groundhog Day, X-Men, and we may have to go and invite this fella to be a member. We'll see about that. When you get the time, come visit us at flipclockfans.com. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. 